Yo, it's your man Norgan. <laughs> I hope you all are doing great. I'm back with another tutorial, or rather, some pretty good tips on how to organize your WooCommerce products correctly. So, if you're running an online e commerce store and you're not sure how to organize your products, or are confused between the differences of categories, subcategories, and tags, maybe you're just new and want to learn the right way of categorizing your products. Or maybe you want your online store to rank higher in search results and have better SEO. Well, whatever the reason is, today I'll be speaking about on how to organize products in WooCommerce. The same principles and ideas apply to any other CMS out there, Shopify, Magento, BigCommerce, and whatever. So pay close attention and please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Now, let's get started. If you create or run a website and want to improve it, then my channel and website is for you. Head over to my website, yourmanlar.com, and you will find tons of informative content, tips and tricks, ready-made websites with complex functionalities for sale, and most importantly, discounts for the best tools to improve your website's performance. Enjoy this video, I hope it will be valuable for you. As always, I'm your man Nar. All right, now let's get started. As always, here's the written form of the same tutorial on my website. I will add the link in the description of this video. It will be the first link. So in case you don't like vo watching uh, videos or you don't like my voice, you can go over there and read it. That's not a problem at all. As long as the information is passed, to, passed on to you, I'm fine with that. So first things first, I'd like to emphasize boldly on that there is no single correct way of categorization. So it all depends on your stall, on your products and uh, how you want to display your, your products. Uh, so, but the general idea of the video is for me to try and uh, pass on the information to you that the general idea of categorization. So uh, how Google understands it, uh, how many options or how many approaches can you have when it comes to categorization uh, rather than just pushing on you one single way. So let's say the category should be based on the gender. So it's male, female, kids. Uh, and then it comes to, let's say, subcategories to shoes, accessories, clothes or whatever it is. And then the tags comes across all the other uh, to, to all the products. So that's not what I'm trying to do here. What I'm trying to do is explain the general mindset when it comes to categorization. So how should you think uh, when, when you're trying to categorize and when you're trying to uh, figure it out, okay? So after that, I will, pro I will uh, just in a minute, just very quickly show you how to do it on WooCommerce. There are multiple e-commerce shopping carts out there. So it's Shopify, Magento, BigCommerce, and many, many, many others. So uh, I know for a fact that Shopify has the same functionalities as WooCommerce, and I'm pretty certain that the other uh, CMSs as well support the same thing. So I'm not, I'm not really worried about that. Uh, now let's get started. So the main difference between a category and a subcategory is uh, I, I'm pretty sure that it's obvious, but uh, it, it needs to be emphasized is that the category is the main uh, main section. Okay, so uh, let's say if you're if you're writing a menu for a, for a restaurant, okay, how would you categorize? So it would be appetizers, uh, garnish, main dishes. Okay, let's say drinks and stuff. So that would be your categories. All right. Now, when it comes to your subcategories, so let's say I say the main dishes, and then it comes pizzas, uh, burgers, I don't know, pastas. Now you get it. So those are the subcategories. And then when you have tags, the tags are usually uh, things that are common across multiple categories. So let's say this is a vegan dish, this is a vegetarian dish, uh, or maybe we can say this is chicken, this is pork, or this is uh, beef. So you're getting the point. So let's say if we say that this pasta and this burger, they are in different uh, subcategories, but they have the same common uh, thing, which is, let's say they are both made with chicken. Okay. So we add the tag of chicken. 
I'm trying to explain the point, okay? So, uh, and the same thing goes on for other uh, e-commerce. So if you're trying to sell a t-shirt, like for, for example, if you're trying to sell uh, a t-shirt, you can have, bo you can start with, the categories goes men, women, okay? And then obviously you can have kids and you can have more, but uh, I'm just trying to generalize stuff. So uh, you can have men, women, and then in the subcategories, you can have hoodies, t-shirts, pants or whatever it is uh, and then for the tags you can go I've added an anime store in here so for the tags you can go Naruto, One Piece, Bleach, Stray Dogs or whatever it is so uh, that way so let's say someone's interested in a Naruto uh, in a Naruto uh, rather Naruto uh, hoodie they can just click on the tag Naruto and they will find I'm sorry they, if, you, if they want to find out all the products that you have uh, with the Naruto's design so they can just click on the tag Naruto and they will find all the hoodies, t-shirts and everything that you have that are uh, Naruto related. Okay, so now uh, in the second example that I have on the article uh, is, is, another, is another closing store so what I'm trying to do here is show you that you, you, you it's not always that you uh, go with main categories as with the genders. You can go with the products themselves and then have the subcategories in the genders. Okay, so you go categories is shoes, clothing, accessories. Okay, so it's shoes, clothes, accessories, and then the subcategory one for each category you can have men, women. So someone goes to the uh, to the shoes and then they can choose whether they want men or women shoes. And then for the subcategory two, for each subcategory one, so each man, each shoes, main shoes will have boots, sandals, sneakers, loafers, and oxfords. Okay. And for the women, they will have boots, sandals, sneakers, heels, flats, clogs, and mules. Okay. I hope this makes sense. So uh, each category of shoes and subcategory men will have the following, and each category. Uh, shoes, clothing, or accessories of women with the subcategory women will have the following subcategories. Okay, so we have two levels uh, of subcategories. It's not just one. Uh, it's not just one like this one. So we have two, and then we have the tags. So it's by model, by brand, uh, or let's say it can be limited edition. So you can add the tag of limited edition or. Uh, almost finished, okay, uh, out of stock or whatever it is, uh, soon out of stock, uh, across multiple categories, subcategories and everything. So try to have your tags something that is common around multiple categories, okay, so it's uh, ending and stuff. Now we have the third example, which is of, of course fast food store. So just like as I said, uh, I mean, it's different than what I said. So the categories goes pizzas, uh, burgers, salads, appetizers. Now, uh, each category will have a subcategory of vegetarian, vegan, and meat. And now uh, in the meat and the other, we will have pork meat, beef meat, and special offers. Okay, so this is the text. So you can have special offers uh, across pizzas, across burgers, salads, vegetarian, vegan, and meat. And uh, each meat product, each meat sub subcategory might be pork or beef. So this is something that can be common across different categories and subcategories, but categories and subcategories uh, are different and should be differentiated easily. So the way you should think about uh, when it comes to uh, categorization is how do you want your customers or how do your customers navigate through your website? So, do you want them to easily identify the male and female products? Or do you want them to uh, easily identify different anime products? Or let's say you want them to easily identify uh, different, uh, let's say, heritage products or stuff like that. So, it all, so it all depends on how you approach your store and uh, what you're selling. But you can most definitely change the way you categorize and stuff. Uh, so there is no one single correct way of doing it. There are either multiple ways, uh, but the correct way is to find the things that are most 
differentiated across your products and that way you can categorize them. So let's say they are more, the thing that separates uh, each product from the, uh, each other is let's say the gender factor. So we go with male and female and then you go from there. So then we have shoes and then we can have sandals. So if you're selling watches, you can go with uh, gold watches or platinum watches or let's say digital watches and uh, standard watches and then you can have colors with different subcategories so i'm trying to give you the general idea in here by giving you many examples but the point stays the same and i i, I already repeated it twice or three times so I, it's really important that you understand uh, understand the mindset behind it now when it comes to woocommerce you just go to your dashboard you could you can go to products and categories and from here all you have to do is create a new category okay so let's say i'm going to create a new category so i'm going to name the category tutorial for the sake of tutorial and the slug will go the same four now if i add a parent category Okay, so if I say that uh, for the sake of tutorial uh, has no parent category, that would make for the sake of tutorial uh, category a main category. Let's change this tutorial. <laughs> it's taking too long to say the name. Tutorial. Okay, so if I leave parent category none, this will make tutorial a main category. If I add a parent category, let's say services, then this would make tutorial a subcategory for the main category services. So if you come to this image, this would be services and this would be tutorial. Okay. I hope this makes sense. And then obviously I will have the description in here. This is really, really cru crucial to add your descriptions uh, and to make sure your categories and subcategories uh, are uh, search based so people are searching for it so let's say male shoes under $50 or uh, male sandals or female sandal or female accessories with I don't know uh, some animal name or uh, some stone name or whatever it is so make sure that your categories and subcategories they contain keywords because they are the main factor the main driving factor behind your SEO results for an online store so uh, if you go and let's say uh, have very, very uh, unrelated categories and subcategories that will, uh, I wouldn't say hurt, but in a way it will be a blocker for you to increase your SEO results. So it will not decrease your results, but it will most definitely not increase them. Okay. So you will not be uh, supporting your SEO actions. If you want to support your SEO actions, for example, you can see that I've added a main category, ready-made food delivery websites. So this is the category. It has five words in it, okay? But this really boosts my SEO results because uh, people, when they search for ready-made food delivery website, they will find me, Google will rank me higher in a sense that Google understands that this is a category Okay, and there are many products in the category, so uh, so it will rank it higher. So uh, this was the general idea behind categorization and uh, how to organize your products, how to structure them correctly. Uh, I hope I was able to pass on the idea uh, and the mindset behind the process because there's no actually correct way of doing it, but from experience and from results, we can understand that uh, giving it a mindful approach and having uh, start like uh, giving it a, a structure that uh, I wouldn't say identifies, but uh, it clearly uh, shows uh, what the customer wants to see, uh, and that way you will have a correct structure, and Google will rank you will most definitely rank you way higher than your competitors. So this was it, guys. I hope this was helpful. Uh, again, uh, I want to mention that I didn't say anything specific uh, on what to do rather than the, just the mindset and the ideas. So I hope this was really helpful. And if it was, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. That really helps. Until next time, I'm your man Nar. 
Cheers. <laughs>